everybody, what's going on? This is Danelle, and today we are going to talk about Solana. Do you have soul? <laughs> Anyways, um, as usual, let's go ahead and start off with the cryptocurrency market update. As you can see, Bitcoin is currently trading at $35,000, up 3% over the last seven days. It's definitely seen a nice jump up over the past month. And if we continue to go down in the top 10, Ethereum is currently trading at $1,855, up 4.5% over the last seven days. We'll be getting to Solana, which is up 34.64%. At the time of recording over the last seven days, we have Cardano in at number eight, Dogecoin still there in the top 10 at number nine, and Tron run, rounding out the top 10. So let's go to Bitcoin really quick, and we can see here that over the past month, it has gone up over 25%, currently at 27.82% over the past month. It was currently trading at around 26,000 or so, and has jumped up. And has now ranging in that thirty-four to thirty-five thousand dollar range. We'll see how long it stays in this range. If it stays above that thirty-one to thirty-two thousand dollar level, then we could potentially see some more upside going into the end of the year. But we'll see. Another benchmark that a lot of people compare Bitcoin to is the Nasdaq, which is comprising of a lot of technology stocks, including Apple, Microsoft, many of the Magnificent Seven. And as you can see in comparison, over the past month, Bitcoin has basically done its own thing outside of what NASDAQ is doing. It is over 26% more that it's done in terms of uh, rise in price compared to the NASDAQ. So normally they kind of go hand in hand. If Bitcoin is up, the NASDAQ is usually up and if NASDAQ is down, Bitcoin is normally down, but it looks like Bitcoin is kind of steering its own way currently, and it's now up, as we see here, over 27% over the past month. And let's just look year to date. Bitcoin is outperforming the NASDAQ, going over 100%, basically doubling its price since January 1. And NASDAQ is still doing fairly well at over 29%, nearly 30%. Over the past couple of months, really over the past year, now that we're heading into the end of 2023. So let's go ahead and get to the crux of this video today. Solana. Solana has seen a meteoric rise really over the last couple of months. Even in the past month, as you can see here, it has gone up over 83%, nearly 84% just in the past 30 days or so. And they just had Breakpoint, which is the Solana developer and community um, conference that they had in Amsterdam just this past week. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But Solana is definitely seeing a lot of development. They have a lot of partnerships that they've made. They are now being considered, no longer, I should say, being considered the affiliate of FTX, as we know, another big news story this past week, Sam Bankman Freed, who is the co founder of FTX and CEO of FTX, who was sued, has now been found guilty on seven counts related to fraud and misuse of investor funds. And so he is going to be sentenced. Eventually, we'll find out what happens there. But there was a huge investment that FTX made into Solana. And so when FTX went bankrupt, Solana had gone down drastically. If we see here, we can look back and in it was around November of 2022 when the news came out about um, FTX and we were already down in a bear market in 2022. But as you can see here, it went from $36.77 all the way down to $13. And at some point, it had actually hit around $8 to $9. As you can see here in December of 2022, it was around $8, $9. And now you see we are up 
over three to four X at $42 currently. And so Solana is definitely making a comeback despite everything that had happened with FTX and it's continuing to move forward. And there are a lot of things that are happening on the blockchain. And one of the main reasons why people are really excited about Solana in comparison to Ethereum, it is a smart contract platform. It's the fact that it's scalable and there's transactions that can be made very quickly. From my understanding, it's about a million transactions per second compared to Ethereum, which is a lot slower than that. And I know Ethereum is currently working on speeding up their transactions as well over time, but it definitely takes time. But right now, Solana, no doubt, is in the lead when it comes to transactions per second. And Van Eck, which is a institution, so-called smart money, we're called dumb money, like the movie that is out now. Retail investors have been known as or talked about as dumb money by a lot of institutional and hedge funds and things of that nature. And the so-called smart money are institutions like a Van Eck, like a Fidelity, like a BlackRock, those who are managing billions and trillions of dollars in assets under management. But now we're finding that these institutions have a lot of interest in digital assets. And they are not only applying for ETFs with the SEC, but they're also doing their research to see what investments their customers and are going to want to get involved in when it comes to the digital asset space. So there's no doubt that digital assets are here to stay. Institutions are already buying and are very interested in getting into the space. So if you're interested in it and you're starting to get invested in it now, consider yourself early and consider yourself future forward. So as we see here, Van Eck has done their research and has released their research paper regarding the base case, bear case, and bull case of Solana and their valuation of what they believe Solana will be in 2030. So they go into what Solana is, their usability, they compare Solana to Ethereum, and they do a nice deep dive into Solana. So if you want to learn a little bit more about Solana, just from a basic level, and what the importance of Solana is, and what they're actually trying to do, this could be a good start in doing your research about Solana and the smart contract platform. So a lot of people are talking about Fire Dancer, which is their newest upgrade to the blockchain that is going to increase the data throughput, which is very important when it comes to transactions and scalability, because at the end of the day, if you want the world to be able to use Solana and be able to use the blockchain, then you need to be able to have these transactions and be able to make them go through quickly, as well as be able to handle the scale, which could potentially be tens to hundreds of millions of people at one time. So that's something that they're currently working on, as well as different applications that are being built on top of the Solana platform. So you can go here and learn a little bit more about this research that Van Eck is doing if you go to vaneck.com. But most people are interested in their scenario, the valuation scenarios, I should say. And as you can see here, the bear is, if it doesn't work, basically, the bear case is $10 in 2030. But their base case, which is basically like their midline level valuation, is they think that Solana will be worth over $300 at $335. And as we saw, it's currently trading at $42 right now. So they definitely see a near 10x in the next seven years. And then the bull case is if everything goes right with Solana and that there is actually people who end up doing gaming and NFTs and using it for payments, then the bull case could potentially be over $3,000 dollars, which is absolutely incredible, which is nearly 100x from where we are here. So obviously, this is not investment advice, Van Eck is not offering investment advice, but this is something that you can use as you do research if this is something that you're interested in, as we're learning together about digital assets and cryptocurrencies. We normally stick to talking more about Bitcoin and Ethereum. But there are a few other cryptocurrencies that definitely have a chance to be around for a while and are doing some great 
things in the digital asset space. So Solana definitely is one of those cryptocurrencies that I'm looking at. I've done a little bit on the blockchain. I have a couple of now worthless NFTs, Solana NFTs, but I will say that there is no doubt that the transaction speed is very quick. And so it's easy to transfer value transfer Solana from one wallet to another as well as being able to purchase NFTs. I haven't really done anything related to gaming but from what I've heard there's a lot going on in this particular space when it comes to this blockchain and there are a lot of startups that are really interested in building applications called dApps, decentralized applications on the Solana blockchain. So let's just go here to the Breakpoint website, well, the solana.com slash Breakpoint website. And as you can see here, if you didn't get a chance to get to Amsterdam, you can see some of the things that they were discussing at the Breakpoint conference. They talked about just general, the state of Solana and all the things that are happening with Solana. And as you can see here, they are working with AWS, which is Amazon's web services, one of the largest cloud services in the world. They're also working with Google and they've done some integrations with Meta when it comes to Instagram. So they are definitely continuing to build out their platform to include a lot of the major tech companies that have already established themselves in the world of AI and technology. So these are just some of the signs that goes to show the potential trajectory of Solana as a smart contract platform. Most of us as laymen will not necessarily understand what the bottom layer is and what we're doing on the blockchain. But the fact is, is that we will be using this new technology, which is decentralized, which is supposed to be more secure and provides opportunity for us to have more autonomy when it comes to transferring value, as well as being able to use that value in a variety of different ways. So you can go here to salon.com slash breakpoint to learn a little bit more about what happened at this past week's conference. And here, as I mentioned, they are working with AWS. So now enterprises will be able to have blockchain nodes using AWS. So a node is basically a computer system of computers that help to secure the network, the Solana network. And so you get rewards by doing this. And so you're able to use the AWS cloud system, which is also supposed to be one of the most secure in the world. They can use that to be able to have storage because obviously if you're a major enterprise and you are holding a lot of Solana and have a Solana node, then you need that space in the cloud. And so now AWS is integrating Solana. So there are opportunities for these larger enterprises to now run a Solana blockchain node. Also, another story is that they are integrating with Google Cloud's big query data analytics platform. So now the big query is the name of the platform will be integrating blockchain data from Solana. So now because there's so many transactions that will be happening and occurring and has been occurring on the Solana blockchain, people will be able to use this Google big data service to be able to learn more about what's happening on the blockchain. Because one of the things that people love about the blockchain is not only is it decentralized, but it's also transparent, at least this particular blockchain, not every blockchain is decentralized. But with Solana, you will be able to see exactly everything that is going on on the blockchain, it is transparent, just like Bitcoin. And so being able to have transparency creates opportunities for these data analytics services to be able to analyze all different types of data on that particular blockchain. And that helps not only investors, but people who are interested in developing and building on top of Solana to have these analytics to have a better understanding of the blockchain and the goings on on the blockchain. So this will allow uh, people to have information about NFTs as well as other use cases that are happening on Solana and the smart blockchain, uh, smart contract platform, I should say. 
as we mentioned, there are other companies that are integrating Solana, another one, another top tech company, one of the largest retailers in the world is Shopify. And now people are able to use Solana Pay to make payments using the Solana blockchain. So USDC is a stable coin. It is pegged to the US dollar. So it stays at one US dollar. And so there's no fluctuations like the cryptocurrencies that we know and love. And so people will now be able to accept USDC using the Solana blockchain. They don't even necessarily need to know that Solana is the underlying platform, but it's another use case to show that Solana Pay, which is a decentralized payment protocol by Solana Labs, has now integrated its plugin with Shopify. So this now allows millions of businesses who create their retail stores using Shopify, they now have an option if people want to use their cryptocurrency like USDC, they can now use Solana Pay to be able to pay for certain services using uh, Shopify's payment platform. So that is huge news. We mentioned that earlier when this came out, which was in August of 2023. So as you can see, there's a ton that is happening with Solana. Gaming is also another big opportunity that Solana is jumping into here. We're at staratlas.com. So if you want to learn a little bit more about the video game and the gaming space, one of the biggest on the Solana blockchain right now, you can go to staratlas.com and it has a bunch of different information about the experience and you can find some pretty cool videos that they have out now, especially coming from one of the panels that they had at Breakpoint here on YouTube. So you can see a little bit about what they're doing and how crazy the graphics are. I'm not a big gamer, but it looks like this is some pretty cool, cool graphics that they'll be integrating into this particular game. So there you have it. There's a lot going on when it comes to Solana and Solana Labs. We've also mentioned before that they have their own phone, Android phone, where you would have a Solana wallet. I believe it's the Phantom wallet that is integrated into the phone. So there's a lot of things happening with this particular cryptocurrency and this particular smart contract platform. So definitely one to keep an eye on and we'll keep you posted, of course, as usual, if anything else comes out from Breakpoint that would be interested, interesting for you to know. But in the meantime, we look forward to linking up with you on the network chain. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.